Evening all, welcome to uh, EVE Online. Today's topic of video is about bots. This isn't botting, this is multiboxing, learn the difference. That was a bit of a catchy subtitle. Um, botting is a big, in, big issue in the game at the moment. And somebody who's been in the game since year dot, um, I can tell you now botting is a big issue across this game. Um, unfortunately, we encountered it all the time in Deep Space when we lived in Zero Zero. The Alliances all knew about it. Uh, to be honest, when you've got thousands and thousands of members who are ratting continually, at 15% tax, it means that that's your war chest right there every day. And we were earning, you know, I think around a billion isk an hour in some of the alliances I was in. Now, when I say we, I wasn't leading it, it wasn't me who was the alliance leader, but you knew it was going on, and this was always very plainly obvious. It really does damage the game, and unfortunately, it's just going to be one of those um, things I don't think you're going to get rid of because uh, you know, I think that the simple fact is they're just very difficult to dis you know to discern if the player is doing it it's very difficult to actually ascertain if they're multiboxing so this is me multiboxing let me explain my setup here this is four coraxes all tech one fit who needs drones i've got coraxes literally orbiting me i'm running a logi ship which just keeps them repped um and they are running auto targeting missiles so what you need to do is target paint the enemy and then set your missiles to fire and I have four of the sh four ships doing this, but if I wanted to, I could have eight. <laughs> now the thing is, every time I warp around and I do, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm obviously not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for the sheer fun of doing it. So let's just be clear on that. Number one, um, I think it's a challenge nowadays to go anywhere as a group like this. So this is all my accounts. They're all all of the windows are lined up one after the other. I don't have any broadcasting or anything like that going on. I literally just go from one account to the other and I, I do a regroup that makes everything orbit me and off we go I've only done it a few times because it's not a big earner and it's not particularly that um, I don't know it's not that challenging although this one and again everybody does the elite video uh, elite e videos to show how uber pvp crazy and amazing and how cool they are well I'm very different I, I am terrible at this game in every sense in fact I'm terrible in every way and I thought I'd include me almost losing an Osprey, <laughs> a Logi Osprey, to a, uh, a high sec um, encounter because, hey, it was fun. So, you know, I think so many people get so butthurt and prideful over, oh my God, you ganked me. It's like, well, so what? You know, stuff happens, you know, mistakes are made. Don't judge and evaluate your, your, your life's worth through pixels in a game. <laughs> Do it through real life. Anyway. So botting, I think, is something that is going to be, I know CCP are going to crack down on. You should always report bots. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's not an easy thing to spot in most cases. You see you do this, you go through deep space and everything runs from you. And the wonderful example here was a Nyx that runs away from a, a destroyer or a, um, a, a scepter. It's just, you know, a Nyx would kill anything like that, yet yeah, it runs away. And I think this is this is part of the issue of the game is that you know I would almost suggest and here's the controversial moment that CCP rely on this botting illicit black market industry because it provides people to play the game it provides numbers so yes it damages the economy but hey it means that thousands and thousands of players are still playing this game so when they go to the banks or when they go to their hedge fund bosses they can say thousands and thousands of people are still playing this game even though people like me i've got 15 accounts and i don't use them all anymore but do you see what i mean it, this is this kind of uh, um spurious rigor i would call this in my my work world which is that it's really a lie it's they don't really have that many people and botting provides a comfortable number of players potentially to pad out um, the numbers of the game. Certainly a lot of the major alliances, I think the vast majority of them must, must be alts, people who've given up and botters. And I just don't think there's much you can do about it. I think almost you could say even, especially multiplayer online games, there's always going to be somebody that's smarter than the developers who's going to figure out a way round anything they do. And plus with the simple fact that, you know, RMTing is a big issue, real money trading is a big issue as well. The simple fact is you could earn, uh, and again I remember people in Alliance Channel openly saying 
selling billion-esque for a hundred dollars or whatever it was I didn't really care but you see what I mean this when that was so openly done and it was just accepted that yeah I could throw a few dollars your way and get some some botted isk when you saw that happening in Alliance public channels you realize that the game is completely stacked and I'm, I'm not being dramatic here I think the reality is is that if anybody trying to take a counterpoint of view to anything I just said is probably in the defense of the bots trying to cloud the image cloud the situation and maybe you know alter perception and, and and come up with some alternative facts perchance but anyway that's just my take on it i think the reality is is i don't think much could be done about it um i would suggest that just regular good strong bannings perma bannings and i know they're doing that now but you know a three-day warning and then a perma ban i don't think that's very sensible i think if they can definitively prove um, botting is taking place, they should just ban and leave it at that because then the person is going to have to go and invest more money to come back and buy that mix and put them in deep space and so on. So for me, it makes perfect sense. But there we go. Post your comments, tell me what you think. I think this is going to be one of those topics that probably will incite some rage. A bit like Titans being terrible, maybe, but uh, I'll be interested to read what you think. Um, if you have alts, by the way, you should do this in Empire. These are Empire alts. It took about two weeks of training to put them into a Corex with autom auto fire missiles. It's all level one, uh, tech one. It's nothing of value at all. The Osprey is a little bit beefed up with tech two, but again, it's such a cheap fit. And even if you just have a play with it, it's such a simple thing to do. And I really did have some fun doing this footage. I don't think I'll do it much more because I, I just, yeah, everywhere I go, people are going to start accusing me of multi boxing or whatever the current meta is. But this was a huge amount of fun. And it felt like having ultimate Jove drones protecting me. It felt, I felt quite special. And at the end, it's just me warping my broken ass, <laughs> busted up Osprey back to my, uh, my colleague's station to get some reps. But there we go. So, you know, this is an interesting time in the game, I think, with FanFest approaching soon. I think there's going to be some real interest around what's coming soon. And I think really, if I'm honest, the game is, is still wonderful and it's got some real, you know, fun behind it. But I do see the decline. I'm seeing the wrinkles and I'm getting a bit concerned. So post in the comments, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.